single, well, not every single, but every height in the NBA, more of like the more generic heights. So basically what I'm going to be doing is talking about the greatest player of all time at every height going from um, under six foot, six foot, six foot one, six foot two, six foot three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and seven footers, and then a seven footer plus. We're going to be doing the greatest player of all time at every height and not best. This is not going to be the best, most talented, most gifted basketball player. No, it's the greatest. It's going to take accolades, talent, everything. The greatest player of all time at every single height. So, uh, make sure to comment down below if maybe there are some other great names we could be talking about. These are just sort of my, sort of ones I've thought of, kind of the top of my head, sort of uh, looking things up. But uh, I thought it'd just be kind of fun to talk about this kind of stuff. But also, if you didn't know, I did upload yesterday. Yesterday, I uploaded a very, very super duper, super duper tingly video of me just um, turning up my mic sensitivity super high up. Took a lot to edit that video because there are so many cars going by. I live right next to a road, so it's very hard to catch like a good time to film videos. So, uh, it was a very tingly video. So, if you're more into like a traditional ASMR, mount sounds, gum chewing, anything like that, uh, make sure to check out yesterday's video where I talked just read off names of the NBA teams, uh, tingly named NBA players, and just sort of had a nice little short ASMR type video. But in this video, we're going to be talking a lot more basketball in this video. So, hopefully, you guys will enjoy that. Make sure you guys smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. I think we're like like 50, like literally 50 subscribers away from hitting 5k. Someone like weeks ago was talking about, oh, you can get 5k by Christmas or 5k by New Year's. And I thought that was the funniest joke of all time. But apparently you guys are extremely close. And I never knew that you guys could actually do it like this much support in so little time. Like it's absolutely insane. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. There is going to be an announcement at 5k. So if we ever hit 5k, who knows? Uh, there will be a little special announcement for you guys. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like the video. And yeah, let's jump right into tonight's video, 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 video. So first things first, we're going to be talking about the greatest, greatest. This is just sort of like a very great player under the height of six foot, six foot, six foot. Um, one of the players I actually kind of wanted to put on here, but it's just sort of more of a recent, recency biased is Isaiah Thomas, not Isaiah Thomas, the Detroit Piston, but Isaiah Thomas, the Celtic player, Isaiah Thomas. Well, I wanted to put him on here just because he did have a, a fantastic season. And I think he might be like the best player under six foot because he was just scoring like averaging 28 points per game that entire season. He was an MVP candidate that year. I think he was like fifth place, something like that. And literally led that franchise uh, to a really good playoff seating spot. Um, but I feel like these sort of high, high, I have Isaiah Thomas and the great, well, I don't want to say great, like it's a good thing, but the big fall that he had due to injury and just not getting the right sort of playing situation he's had since he's been in Boston has sort of hurt him in that sort of goat status of being the, the greatest player of all time under six foot. Um, there's also been a lot of other really good players, but, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put out a player and you guys can tell me if this is right or wrong, but this is a player I actually had to look up and sort of do a little bit of research on, but I'm going to say the greatest player of all time under six foot is actually a player in the hall of fame in which if you're in the hall of fame, I think that's actually a pretty good stat to go by, but it is the player Calvin, 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 Calvin Murphy, who is five foot nine. So the same height as Isaiah Thomas, um, Calvin Murphy was a all-star back in the day, all-rookie team as well, but also inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1993. He was 5'9", 165, played for the Houston Rockets, Rockets, Rockets. Um, in his best year in 1978, 1979, he averaged, oh sorry, 1977, 1978, he averaged 25.6 points per game. He also averaged almost two steals a game, uh, 3.4 assists, two rebounds a game as well. So a pretty good player, not gonna lie. I know Isaiah Thomas averaged 28, 25.6, also isn't so bad. Uh, his entire career averaged 18 points per game as well and one and a half steals. So definitely not the sort of goat status we're gonna be naming off 
off a lot of different other players by being five foot nine in the NBA, especially during the time of the 80s and 70s uh, of the NBA, where it's a lot tougher and rougher of a game. Being five foot nine back then, I think, was probably a lot harder than being five foot nine in today's NBA, where you know you get uh, if someone blows in your direction, you you get a foul call. So, um, also that sort of got me thinking about maybe this guy should be put over Isaiah Thomas. Um, obviously there are other really, really good players back in the day, like obviously like Spud Webb and things like that who are also under six foot, but this player really just caught my attention because of how he averaged it during such a tough time in the NBA and also Hall of Famer, which obviously isn't so bad. So at six foot, the GOAT player at six foot, this, there may be a lot of other really great players when it comes to accolades and things like that, but when it comes to, you know, being the greatest, you also have the skill, you need the skill for it. And Allen Iverson has more skill in his body than probably any player of all time. If we're talking about just basketball skill, Allen Iverson had it all. So I'm going to say Allen Iverson, six foot goat. Uh, Allen Iverson was also a Hall of Famer, four times scoring champ, three times steals, a leader in the NBA, seven time All NBA team member, 11 time All Star, two time, two time, two time All Star MVP, the 2000 2001 NBA MVP. Rookie of the Year back in 1996, 1997. I know for a lot of you kids, that seems like a very long time ago because he recently retired, I think, in 2010, didn't he? Yeah, he played in 2009, 2010 season. So, man, he was in the league for a hot minute. Allen Iverson, in my opinion, the GOAT. Um, Let's take a look at his MVP season, which was 2000, 2001. Wow, he played it 42 minutes a game that season. That's just terrible. That would be so tiring. That's so crazy. Uh, he averaged 31 points per game that year, two and a half steals, almost five assists as well, shooting 80% from the free throw line, and field goal percentage of 42%. Not bad for a player who probably was taking every single shot for that team on the Philadelphia 76 or so. You know, during over the years, how the players talk about Allen Iverson, how they sort of inspired them. It's super crazy. You can think about a lot of other great point guards during this time period. It's just everyone looked up to Allen Iverson and the way he played basketball and the way he just had so much heart. Uh, literally being, no offense to any players on that Philadelphia team, but it was that team was Allen Iverson. That team was Allen Iverson. They had Matumbo, who was pretty decent at that time period. Other than that, that team was pretty rough and they took the team all over to the finals. They, they got a game on the LA Lakers, which they probably should have swept swept, but um, I thought that was pretty cool that they made it all the way to um, the NBA Finals with that team, so I don't know, it's not one point in time, but apparently he won the MVP, he's the best player in the game at that point in time, so that's that's super duper crazy, so uh, I'm going to say Allen Iverson, the GOAT 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 player at 6 foot okay, now that I see this, I think at 6 foot 1 I'm going to have to go with John Stockton, we're talking about greatness we're talking about just the greatest basketball player, not best. I'm going to say John Stockton. Um, John Stockton at a certain point in time, obviously playing around uh, Magic Johnson sort of time period and so a lot of other really great point guards was always known as one of the best point guards in the NBA, one of the greatest point guards of all time. Um, you probably wouldn't say that now because obviously there's a lot of been, there's been a lot of other great guards coming into the league since then. Obviously we're talking about Magic, Curry, Nash, Chris Paul, uh, even like in today's generation of, of point guards, it's just so stacked with great point guards. You sort of lose track of John Stockton, but John Stockton is the league, 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 league leader in assist. He is a nine-time uh, assist leader in the NBA, a Hall of Famer, a two-time steals champ, well, champ, two-time steals leader in the NBA, a ten-time All-Star, eleven-time All-NBA team member, five-time All-NBA defensive team as well. A lot of people forget for only being six for one. Probably, I mean, top three, top five perimeter defenders in the NBA during this time period in the 90s where there are a lot of great ones, and he was probably one of the top ones uh, all the time. He was also the All-Star Game MVP in 1992-1993. That is something I didn't even know, but being six foot one, 170, having just an absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy career of just... <sighs> 
exist. That is absolutely crazy. Uh, I'm going to say, wait, 92, 97, I think it was. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why I said that. Um, uh, John Stockton, definitely, definitely, definitely the goat at six foot, six foot one. And at six foot two, it was also a pretty tough one to think about. But uh, this player listed at six foot two, technically a shooting guard. You can name him a point guard. I like him more as like a point guard. But at six foot two, I'm going to say Jerry West. At six foot two, um, there actually isn't really a lot of NBA point guards in sort of that range between six foot and six foot two. Like I said before, we could probably talk about some other players uh, during, uh, not during, but other players at this height that have been really good. But Jerry West, I mean, obviously the logo is a super good player, nonetheless, especially during this time period. If you want to talk about greatness, I mean, we can always talk about Jerry West and the greatness. He was a obviously a Hall of Famer, the scoring champ in 1969, 1970. Uh, also lead the league and assist an NBA champion, 12-time All-NBA team member, 5-time All-NBA defensive team member, uh, All-Star Game MVP in the 1968-1969 NBA Finals MVP award winner. So, pretty, pretty, pretty cool in my opinion. He was definitely one I was thinking about, but also, apparently, this player is listed at 6'2", and I didn't really know about it. I thought he was like 6'1", uh, is Tony Parker, which might also be a good pick, but only just because of like his accolade may be more significant than Jerry West, obviously winning more championships, being on better teams, having better talent around him, things like that, so I sort of took that into accountability, so Tony Parker was good, Tony Parker has prime, was really good, one of the top point guards in the NBA, but I feel like just the overall greatness of, of Jerry West sort of topples that a little bit more, uh, at least just in my opinion, let's see, Jerry West's best year, uh, he averaged 31 points per game, seven and a half assists and 4.6 rebounds that's pretty crazy uh i mean the dude averaged his entire career over 27 points per game which again players would beg for that for being one season but he did that for his entire career and again it's it's it's, it's about the total package of greatness it's not just oh it's the most talented nba player at this height because obviously like kyrie irving could be up there with a lot of other different players but greatness all the way around jerry west six foot two at six foot three is where we start getting very interesting and my god there are a lot of very great players in the nba at six foot three right now just in the nba but even over a period of time it's always been you know six foot three is like the perfect mold for an nba point guard but uh this player about the name is known already as maybe possibly could be one day known as the greatest point guard of all time i'm not saying he is i definitely do not believe this but maybe a lot of people of this generation do and that's steph curry so i'm gonna say steph curry at six foot three is the goat of players at six foot three now again um there are a lot of great players who again could definitely be argued this for sure for sure uh i wouldn't know if i would really say it but it's definitely a big possibility. I mean, there's also really great point guards like, uh, you know, Steve Nash during this time period, a two-time MVP, but also Steph, you know, a really good MVP as well, multiple-time NBA champion, the greatest shooter of all time, uh, one of the best players of all time, not only of all time, but in this sort of specific generation where it seems like everyone is super talented. You have a point guard thrall of players like Damian Lillard, Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving, then you have Steph Curry thrown in there, then you have this new generation of point guards as well, like Trey Young, John Morant, like, this is just point guard central of a generation, and Steph Curry seems to always be at, at the top of the list every single year, so knowing that, knowing he's also been on the greatest team of all time, with, you know, him and Kevin Durant and Draymond Green and Clay Thompson, like, that team is the best team of all time, then he's also been on a team that's won 73 games in a, in a single season, like, it's just, it all just sort of adds up, and I think I do believe that at six foot three, that Steph is probably the greatest player at that height. Um, again, you could always argue different players, different people, like, like I said before, Steve Nash, two-time MVP, great player in himself, but I feel like Steph Curry, it just, he just keeps adding more and more accolades as his entire career continues, and I think he'll just keep building up and building up till he, he has a complete sort of resume of definitely arguing of being the greatest point guard of all time then if we're going to six foot four six foot four six foot four this one was pretty easy for at least me in my opinion and i'm going to have to say the goat at the height six foot four is Dwayne, 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 wade players at six foot four usually point uh shooting guard 
six against the Dallas Mavericks, six for four, two twenty. Taking a look here at his best NBA season at the year 2008-2009, averaging 30, 30, 30 points per game, also two assists, one block, easily the best blocking guard in NBA history. This man looked like he was blocking players, like he was six foot nine at some points in time, like he was just a swatter of a shooting guard. Also averages over two assists that uh, two steals that game, seven and a half assists and five rebounds. Again, all for a, a shooting guard who's basically handling the ball all the time. Also being their best perimeter defender. Chef Kiss, absolutely amazing. So, um, D Wade is just an absolute boss of a player. Again, I think he definitely got robbed of it. Be, at least during the time period. But again, there was like LeBron and and Kobe and also the really great players during the time period as well. But D Wade was really good. And I think at six foot four, I'm trying to think of other really good players at that height. I think I think Harden is definitely six foot five. So you can't say Harden. Man, I probably could look some up, but as soon as I saw six foot four, I knew who I was gonna pick, so I didn't really look into it a little bit more. Then at six foot five, I'm gonna have to go with uh, another bigger guard, uh, bigger point guard, a point guard, point guard, and that's gonna be Oscar, 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 Oscar. Robertson, 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 Oscar, 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 the big O, yeah, now do a lot of player names, uh, just because, again, being sort of the first ever triple-double guy, I know Westbrook is sort of that guy, sort of, in more relevant times, but Russell, I mean, uh, big O, I feel like, just made it seem more, I don't know, better, I think he just did it better than Russell Westbrook did, maybe, maybe Russell did actually, but, uh, the big O was just an absolute inspiration of a player during his time period, especially playing during a very tough time, you know, in the 70s and 60s and, uh, you know, in 1971, 11 time all NBA team member, three time all, all star MVP and a league MVP, 12 time, 12 time, 12 time NBA all star. Definitely a killer, killer, killer on the court. So yeah, I'm going to say Oscar Robinson at six foot five. Now, six, six foot six, I think this one's also pretty easy. Well, it really comes out to two players, and that's Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. One of the players kind of copied the other player and did it better. So, no, all due respect to Kobe Bryant, if I could make Kobe Bryant six foot five or six foot seven, I would definitely put Kobe there. But he was six foot six, so it was Michael Jordan. I'm gonna say Michael Jordan, the goat of goats, at six foot six, and maybe even the greatest player of all time, no matter what. So, um, don't really have to go into much detail or argument about that. I think we can all sort of agree with that. The Michael Jordan, six foot six, maybe the perfect build for a shooting guard, six foot six, like two fifteen, two twenty, super athletic, super gifted, score defender, six time NBA champion, never lost in the NBA Finals, um, led the league in scoring so many years, multiple time MVP. I, I I don't know what else I could say about him. He's, he's just literally Michael Jordan, the great the greatest player. So uh, definitely six foot six, Michael Jordan. Um, at six foot seven is actually kind of tough, and um, uh, and actually I had to look it up again real quick. But there have been a very good players at six foot seven: Julius Irving, Rick Barry, Clyde Drexler, Reggie Miller, Paul Pierce. All very, very, very good and talented NBA players. But I actually kind of had to look this one up and cheat a little bit. But I think I maybe, God, could I agree to this? I really wanted to say Scottie Pippen. I thought Scottie Pippen could have possibly been six seven, six seven, but He's listed at six foot eight, and I kind of agree that Scotty was six foot eight, so I can't really say Scotty and cheat. But I might have to say Kawhi Leonard might be the greatest player of all time at six foot seven. He is listed at six foot seven. I think he's always been listed at six foot seven. The dude is already an NBA champion, multiple time NBA champion with uh, the the Spurs, and also winning one on his own in 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 Toronto, which was also just a crazy championship in its in itself. Uh, now on a very great NBA team with the LA Clippers and definitely are a, a title favorite for now uh, as the season sort of goes on. I know they just lost a lot to the Dallas Mavericks RIP to the, the, that uh, sort of a game that was really bad. Um, but I mean, if we're talking just an absolute god of a player on defense, but also a player who can go out and give you 30 points per game, easy. Uh, one of the best mid-range shooters uh, in the game can also hit it from three. Very aggressive player uh, when slashing.
offense to Akeem, but I mean, I would rather have Shaq than over Akeem. I would rather have Kareem over Akeem. I would rather have maybe Wilt over Akeem, maybe. I don't even know, but um, if we're talking about over his own foot, we can only pick one. I mean, if we're talking best, if we're talking most talented, most dominant, of course, Shaq is the most talented player over his own foot. The dude was such a gifted player uh, with the ball uh, defensively, the way he controlled the game. Like, Shaq was just a different breed. He was built differently. Uh, but if we're talking greatness and we're taking everything into account, accolades, the way he changed the game, everything, you gotta go with Akeem, uh, Akeem God, Kareem out the older bar. The dude that leads the NBA, the entire NBA, in, in scoring points. Uh, defensively, great player, college, great player too, but we can't really take that into consideration. But Kareem was just the, the first ever full forced player we've really ever seen. I mean, obviously, you can tell about, about Bill Russell, but dude, Kareem was like a team in him of itself. Like, the dude was just an absolute dominant player. He has the Skyhawk, um, just constantly being a championship caliber player his entire career till basically the end when he, you know, played with the Lakers. So, um, absolute dominant player. Again, I don't really think I really need to argue it. I mean, if, again, if we're talking about best, most talented, sure, Shaq, oh, hands down for sure. But taking everything into consideration, gonna have to go with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So basically to go over everything, let's sort of go back to my list here. Uh, under six foot, I have Calvin Murphy, I think was his name. I think so that one's really dark. I kind of just to pick uh, Alan Everson, John Stockton, Jerry West, Steph Curry, Dwayne Wade. Uh, Oscar Robertson, Michael Jordan, then we have Kawhi, uh, LeBron, Magic slash Magic LeBron, either one, uh, and then we have Bill Russell, Tim Duncan, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, all the coats from under six foot to over seven feet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully it wasn't too long.